Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. So today we will see how to save password using password hash in PHP. So welcome back to my channel. So let's get started with today's video. So I have created this view for login and you can see there is one create your account. If you will click on that, there is sign up page as well. So today I will work on this sign up page. There you can see there is name, email and password. So today I will work on sign up. Let me show you DB. So you can see I have one uh, EMP database and in which you can see one employee table. In that I have employee name, email, password and one status. So that's only table I'm going to use. So now let's get started with the code. So let me show you root file in which default controller I have set to home. Then there is two root, one for sign up and another is for login. So now let me show you home controller in which you can see first one is index and sign up. So let me show you header file. So that is in head I have included all CSS. And in my footer I have included all scripts for the theme that template I'm using. Then let me show you login. In login you can see I have one form in which I have email and password after that I have sign up in sign up also there is one extra added that is name of the employee so now let's submit the form so write method post and write action let's say base URL home slash sign up db let's say and create the same function in controller as well after that let me apply some form validation so load library form validation after that write form validation set rules so first one is name so write name is required after that second is email so write email email is also required and check a valid email third one is password so password is name is not complete it's just pass so write password and let's say minimum length let's say it should be six so now check if form validation run it's true then insert into db and else let's print the validation errors and now let's go and check in browser so in browser write name as knowledge and email let's xyz at the gmail.com and let me just pass one character key password so you can see validation error is there for six length characters so validation is working fine and in false condition let me just load my view again so copy from sign up and paste it remove validation dot uh, validation errors after that let me just set error delimiters so right this form validation set error delimiters and inside that let me just pass span let's say class text danger and close that span as well so now after this I'm going to display my form error into my view so in sign up after my first input I'm going to write the PHP eco form error and write name inside that now copy this one and paste after email as well so write for email third one is password so write for that as well so now let's go and check in browser then before that let me just change class text danger to style let's say color red now let's go and check in browser so now let me just click on button sign up and you can see the form errors but password is not okay I have to just write pass so now let's go and again refresh now click on sign up so now you can see all the three input fields error so now let's go and now save our password to db so firstly let's get our form field so firstly I'm going to take password so write this input post pass and take that in a variable after that write password and that is equal to password hash so first one you can see is string so in which I'm going to pass my password that is coming from form and second is type and that is password default here I'm using 
so that's the only thing you need to do for storing your password in hash so after that create data so firstly get to employee name write this input post name after that second is email so write this input post email and third one is password so write emp password and pass this password variable in that so after this let me load my model so write this load model employee model and i'll be creating one function for inserting the data so after my data variable write this employee model write insert employee and pass this data variable in that so i'll be creating the same function in employee model so write public function insert employee with data argument and inside that write this db insert so table name is employee and pass this data in that and in return i'll be passing this db and write insert id so i'll be like returning insert id So now in controller take this in a variable insert id and check one if and else condition if insert id is true else but in false condition what to do so if sign up is successful then set one flash data so write message and write please log in and before that write you have successfully registered please log in after that redirect to home and copy this and paste same in else so here change the message that is there and change this that you have not registered please try again and redirect that to home slash sign up only so now we have to display this flash data in my view so write php check one if condition if this session flash data message is not blank then print this session flash data message i have to display this same flash data in my login as well because if successfully registered then it going to redirect to my login page so let's do that and now let's go and check in browser so in name write knowledge and in email write xyz at the rate gmail.com and I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as password and click on sign up and you can see I have one message you have successfully registered please log in. So let me show you in DB if I you will click on browse you can see one employee is added and its password is encrypted using password hash. So basically password hash uses bcrypt algorithm bcrypt algorithm basically takes uh, a random salt while encoding passwords and store that salt along with the encrypted password so it is very obvious that uh, every time you will get a different encoded result for like same string as well so that's it for this video in my next video i will show you how to log in using this hashed password using password verify so i hope you really like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching